The 2023 Pacific Playwrights Festival lineup is is one that we're really excited about. Uh, this is our 25th PPF this year, um, and so it's going to be uh, a, an extra celebratory festival. Uh, the five staged readings, which happen over the course of that weekend, uh, May 5th through May 7th. One of our special events at the Pacific Playwrights Festival is our Playwrights Panel, um, which will be on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. prior to the the last reading in the festival on our Sagerstrom stage. And um, that is a chance for uh, audiences to hear from all the playwrights together. Um to have them all in one space. It is moderated by our artistic and audience engagement associate, H. Adam Harris. Um, and he just takes some time to casually talk with the playwrights for about an hour um, and to hear about the inspiration behind their plays and to hear about how they work um, and what they do and what they're working on um, outside of even the Pacific Playwrights Festival. And then we also give audiences a chance to ask questions of the playwrights as well. Um, at that point, most will have already had their reading or audiences will have seen their production already except except for one. Um, so it's a it's a great time because everyone everyone has context on on what the plays are and and what they've written. We hope that audiences who come to the festival will take away the experience of what it means to engage with new work. Um, across the three days and the seven plays, we want to tell uh, disparate stories. We want to tell stories that are that are all told in very different ways from very different voices. Um, and we hope that audiences will be swept up by some, that some of them will really cause them to think, um, and that some of them they will find funny and engaging. Um, and by by providing such a sort of diversity of experience across the three days and the seven plays, we hope that audiences will understand that a new play means many different things. And to, to not assume that a new play is just this, or that a new play festival is just this. We hope to provide them with a, a really sort of engaging and different experience at every step in the way. And certainly South Coast Repertory gets something out of um, bringing audiences together for a new play festival as well. And it's a chance for us to engage with audiences. It's a chance for us to uh, be with the playwrights as they experience hearing their plays out loud for maybe the very first or the second time in front of an audience. And so it gives us immediate feedback about um, what's working, what's exciting, what's engaging our audiences. Um, and it provides feedback for the playwrights too of, of, of what is exciting about their plays or where there are questions about their plays. And so it's a real gift for us to also to gather uh, what essentially can be a little bit of a focus group um, across across three days with seven plays. What I would say to to artists and playwrights, actors, et cetera, uh, about why they should get involved with South Coast Repertory is because we are really excited about um, working on new pieces. I think that one of the great things about South Coast Repertory is we're always excited to look at what's next. Um, we we certainly want to celebrate our legacy and we want to celebrate what we've done before, but we want to continue to grow and to change and to help champion uh, the way forward in the American theater. And we absolutely can't do that without the artists. They are they are the lifeblood of new work in the American theater. They are the ones who are out there um inventing and creating new things and creating new things from new pieces to new modes of working and so we we certainly encourage um folks who haven't worked with us before to work with us because we want to we want to champion their work and we want to learn from them it's really important for the local community to support theaters like South Coast Repertory because we are truly a regional theater. We are a theater for our community and our neighborhood. And um, we we strive to make great art in Orange County for Orange County audiences. Um, unlike a commercial entity, unlike a, a, a say, Broadway production or something, um, our 
we don't depend on the ticket sales themselves to do the production. Uh, we 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 commit to the production, and uh, we have a set run for how long the production will run. Um, and we and we want to share that with audiences. We really want all of our plays, of course, to be a big hit, and we want audiences, many, many audiences to come see all of our productions. But um, that isn't necessarily how we're measuring the success of a production, um, because there are so many factors. There are, um, there's certainly the integrity of the piece. There's the way that we are stretching our community by sharing something with them that they might not be used to. And so by introducing to that to them, that is a success in itself. And because um, we're not a commercial entity, you know, um, outside support in any way um, that that patrons and theater lovers can support us is very important. Certainly come, 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 come to the theater, come see a show at South Coast Repertory, come to the Pacific Playwrights Festival, come see our new scripts reading series. It's a free reading series on Monday nights and just see what we're all about. Um, but yes, we also look to donations from individuals, from organizations to support the new work here so we continue, so we can continue to experiment and to explore and to look to uh, new stories that haven't been told before or haven't been told in the way that they've been told before. Art certainly helps the local community in, in all ways, certainly economically by your, you know, by folks going out and having a good time and coming to the area and seeing uh, what's around here, um, the other or arts organizations that are around here, the restaurants that are around here, the places to go and the things to see. Um, and it, it, it also creates, you know, beyond that, um, Theater, one of the things that's so special about it is it really creates empathy. It is a way in real time to sort of experience life in someone else's shoes. And um, it, it it's 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 such an important thing to engage with, um, no matter how you engage with, if you make art, certainly, but also if you just casually encounter art along the way, it, it, it helps you understand the world around you. And hopefully through the art that we do will help you understand better the community that you live in as well. My name is Andy Knight. I am the director of the lab at SCR at South Coast Repertory. And please come to the Pacific Playwrights Festival here at South Coast Repertory, May 5th through 7th. And so you can learn more information about the Pacific Playwrights Festival uh, at scr.org.